Soccer families, I thought I'd explain the 323 and also provide the girls a little tutorial. Uh, even though they've played this once before, it's nice to see it on a video. So we start with three in the back, and we have our two central midfielders that don't get much farther than maybe 10, 12 feet away from each other, and then our three forwards. Now, in this type of formation, uh, the people are doing the most work are our wings, our outside full backs and our outside forwards. Because when the ball is when the ball is on offense, everyone pushes up. Everyone pushes up. And that means our full backs come all the way up, sometimes way past midfield to help support the attack. And our midfielders are up obviously and then our central back defender comes up, sometimes even past the midfield line, depending on uh, what type of high pressure the other team is providing. Now, uh, when we're on defense, what happens is just the opposite. Now, when the fullbacks retreat for defense, we get compact. These forwards have to come back as well to help. So in any one particular time, and the central forward stays up, in any particular time, there's usually four players in the midfield. So we always have these four outside players going forward and back. It's kind of like the ocean, ebb and flow. And when we um, have the ball, we want to get wide. So when we're, when we're in possession, it's called expand, expand our formation. Heels on the chalk, we get out wide, and we try and form triangles so that we can pass triangles around people. Now, when we are on offense down here, it's the same idea. Everyone is wide. Hopefully, we have the ball out wide. And everyone comes up to support. That way we can choose to either cross the ball, in which case we have one, two, three attackers in, sometimes four if the ball is dropped, or we can play the ball back, in which case we form triangles, or we can switch the field. And then defense Instead of running straight back, I have the girls compact towards the middle because we don't want the ball to, to break through in the middle. We're okay defending to the outside. And then that way, if the ball is forced outside, we can get support from either our forwards or midfields. But it's a big compression, so to speak. So when we're on defense, we compact, or on offense, we expand. So I want to show you a typical um, flow uh, on kickoff. So on kickoff, on kickoff, we usually play the ball forward to our outside forward, and we always start from the back. So we play the ball back to our central midfielder, in which turn plays the ball back to our central defender. Now once that happens, our outside backs have to get wide and heels on chalk. And my midfielders split up so that we have multiple options of, of passing. So we form these triangles here, here, or here. Now once the ball is played here, the idea is that we get it out wide, and when we get it out wide, this is what I hope the girls will pick up eventually. We see this more in the spring, uh, and hopefully a little bit in the fall. But the outside back looks to the central midfielder, and the central midfielder is either looking to play the ball to our central forward or outside forward. And I prefer the ball to go to the central forward. So what happens is these people move up, and the role of the central forward is to hold the ball 
and to drop the ball back. And once that ball gets dropped back, my outside forwards make the run. And then once the ball gets out wide, then the central forward joins the attack. Everybody moves up, even the fullbacks move up. And in a perfect world, the ball is crossed, and we've got a near post runner, far post runner, top of the box, and someone to support. And then once everybody is up, the idea is to keep the ball on the opponent's side. Now let's see how that looks on defense. So on defense, uh, once the ball comes into our zone, let's say it gets kicked over this outside forward's head, then we compact, this outside forward comes back, my central forward always stays high because we need someone up there as a target and to hold the defensive line. And then everyone shifts. So we are defending goal side and, and a triangle. Now let's say the ball gets through here and our central defender decides to pick up the attack. Then the weak side help has to come back and be the central defender. And then this outside back is supporting. So whenever someone moves from their zone to play the ball, someone else has to come and support. And I said zone because uh, this is just a starting point. I don't want the girls to just say, oh, this is my spot, I can't move in here. That's not true. If someone misses a tackle and the ball comes in here, everyone has to help. I got ball, I got support. Or if the ball gets misplayed right down the middle, then this person has to step up, I got ball, I got support. So the biggest thing is the girls thinking that they have to stay in a particular position. That's their starting point. That's why developmentally you got to get the girls to start thinking about their positioning and staying in formation. So I hope this helps um, the girls see what they're supposed to be doing. Uh, again, the outside fullbacks and the outside forwards, they do a lot of work. And my central forward uh, is the person that has, kind of like the, uh, the point guard. You're holding the ball to get it back to the mids so that the mids can play the ball out wide. And again, once the ball gets played back, then people are making their moves. People are making their runs so that the ball can be played to the corner. And once we get it out wide, people start compacting into the box so that we can make a most beautiful cross and finish. Goal! See you at trainings. Bye-bye.